This video will take us through the process of using a workflow to return data for different areas of the PMG platform. To use a workflow for data, we simply need to use a certain set of actions that make returning data possible. We'll create a new workflow, and this will just call data workflow example. Let's start with the new workflow, and in this, we will leverage an Amazon action. I have in my palette quite a few actions. One of them will return the valid EC2 regions for Amazon. So this will end up being values like US East, US West, and so on. This action needs an authentication scenario which defines how we're going to connect to Amazon with what credentials. And it is asking us to set a variable which will hold the regions that are returned. So what, let's declare a variable. And I happen to know that this workflow is going to return all of the regions as a JSON document. And then we're going to turn that JSON response document into a table which the form can understand. We use the set synchronous table output action. So I'll add this to my diagram. And I'm going to need to return some values from the region. So I don't know yet necessarily what those values are going to be. So I'll quickly run this workflow as a test and get those values back. I've ran my workflow just once to get some data back from the action to show us what kind of information it's going to return. And I see that I have an endpoint, a region name, and a region that are returned. So in this case, I simply want the region or region name. Uh, it looks like they're the same in this particular example. So I'll just pick region as what I'm interested in inside of my workflow to be returned. In our set synchronous table output action, we need to specify what data has the data in it as JSON or XML that we want to return, what might be the root of my data, which is blank or the default of top in our case, and I'm going to set the columns. So I am interested in the region in our source document, and I would like to call that region in my response. So I will have the return column set as region and the path to find that region information as region. Deploy this as a new workflow, and I am ready to go. I have declared this workflow data workflow example, and I've deployed it and it will return data for the regions that were found. Now I can use my data workflow inside of a form. We have an empty form, and I will just add a select list to show us the regions that are returned from the workflow that we just deployed. And I will pick a select list as my type, and for my data values, I will pick my data source as the data workflow example that we just created. I'll leave these defaults because we don't specify any parameters in this case for this given workflow. And we should just be able to save and view and see the results from our data workflow in our form. 